Hey there, everybody, and happy Halloween! Let's play some Dracula for the Intellivision. This is going to be the first episode in a brand new series. I'm starting. We're just going to do one player on easy. And, as you can guess, we play as Dracula. Now, the numbers on the bottom there, if I can get them to show up again. Obviously, the black one is your score. The three numbers amount of victims left. The 1223 is the time we wake up at midnight, and that thermometer thingy is the blood meter. Now, we just basically go around biting people on the back of the neck. As we go. Now, if you notice, there's also beady little eyes in the window. If you go up to the door, you'll knock on it, and it, assuming they haven't witnessed you biting somebody, they'll come out like this. If they've witnessed you, uh, you know, murdering somebody in cold blood, they won't come out of the house. See, now the number is zero, which means we can return back to our grave. That barking, by the way, is the white wolf who only appears once you've uh, bitten all the victims you need to for the night. He won't kill you, he just kind of slows you down a little bit, as you can see. And you can turn into a bat, but this little vulture comes, and he can capture you. And if he takes you off the edge of the screen, you die, and the game is over. You have one life. I love those cheap little lanterns. And the game, now the screen is scrolling weird because he took me halfway off, but that's okay. Now, anyway, you have between 12 midnight, that's a little redundant, I know, but, and 6 a.m. to bite all of your victims. And I believe if you're in the easy or medium setting, but not on the hard, you can return to your grave at 5 o'clock, even if you haven't bitten all the victims yet. And you can just press a random button to show the time and your meter and everything like that. And here's the graveyard right here. So now that we've bitten all our victims for the night, we can return. And excuse me if my controls are a little bit pathetic. You automatically turn into a bat once you get the uh, the entrance, by the way. Because obviously you're supposed to do this with a 16-directional uh, analog pad, and I'm doing this with a 4-directional keyboard. Now, why people come outside... I love this Pac-Man mouth there. After you knock open a door at, like, midnight, I have no clue. These people are dumb. Um, I don't know if the, the amount of victims eventually caps out. As you can see, now we have four victims we need to bite tonight. Um, I assume so, because I heard on, like, the medium setting, you can, assuming you time it right, you can in, sort of play indefinitely forever. Um, and just keep circling the blocks. Like, the whole block here, um, just keep circulating. You can go left and right, and eventually you'll end up back in the same place. It's that whole, like, Donut Island thing you've seen a lot of games like this and adventure games way back in the day, where you just go to one end, and it scrolls back over to the other. Yeah, I think he bit us because he were walking slow. Or that, or it's just me. But yeah, basically you only want to use the, the bat just to travel a little bit quicker. Because eventually, you know, the, the, the vulture will come every single time. But I think on easy, it takes them a couple seconds to come. So obviously, like many games at the time, it's an endurance round to see how far, how many nights, and how many far, how far you can get. Now, in certain stages, you'll hear that whistling. That is the constable. And he's right there. Uh, he will not hurt you, but he can throw wooden stakes at you, like I, um, you probably just saw. And it will temporarily stun you. He cannot kill you. Come here. And I'm lagging a little bit. There we go. But yeah, he basically stun you. Now what you can do, and I'll try it for the next victim, although he probably saw me kill him. No, oh, wow, he didn't. All right, if you use the other... Whoops. I just accidentally hit the wrong button there. I'm sorry. There we go. But if you hit the bottom right uh, button instead, he'll turn turn the second player into a zombie for 10 seconds. Now, I have it set up to have the second player control be the same control as um, my main control. But you, but you need actually the second controller to control the zombie. And for 10 seconds, you can control the zombie and send him after the constable and kill him for 75 points. After the 10 second is up, you will be rewarded your same 50 points as if you'd bitten the raw zombie regularly. So unless you get like a second player to help or have the setup like I do to help to control the zombie to go after the constable for those extra points, it's not really worth it. 
But at least by turning somebody into a zombie, you don't loot and missing, you don't lose any points. You just don't get those points as quickly. Yes, he does disappear. And he doesn't appear on every stage. But, yeah, see, he hit me, so I'm temporarily stunned. You can run into the problem of him just repeatedly throwing sticks at you, you know, like as soon as you uh, are able to move again, which is kind of a crappy problem. But I don't think it's that much of a big deal. Now, it's, I'm actually making the biting look a little bit easier than it really is, but since you have to bite them on the back of the neck, it can prove to be a little difficult sometimes. Hello there, Wolfie. Oh, he just stuns me. Okay. I just seem to be walking slow. Oh, graphics lag. What time is it? Yeah, it's 4 o'clock in the morning. Now, when it hits 5 o'clock and... Maybe on this night I'll show you. The sky will actually turn color to indicate that sunrise is coming and that you have a very limited time to get back to your grave. And obviously, if you stay out past 6 o'clock, the game is over! I'm not sure what uh, depletes the blood meter thingy there. I don't know if turning into a bat um, decreases it or just walking about or whatever. Uh, it's been like a week or so since I've actually written the actual instruction manual, so I don't know if it's written in there. Probably is. But yeah, it's basically just an endurance. How many, how, how long you can play before you die. One life, that's it. Get back here, I want to bite your back of the neck in your jumpsuit here. Why were you wearing a hat inside your house? I love the people who go jogging at midnight. I mean, I've heard of doing it... Oh, come on! At, like, sunrise and sunset, because, you know, the weather's cooler, there. there's not many people out, you know, no idiot driver's gonna hit you, although some runners are also idiots, and... don't run close enough to the edge of the road and put themselves at risk for drivers, but that's another story. You probably saw me murder somebody, so I'm gonna go to your house. I don't think he's wearing shoes, but at least that makes more sense. Alright, what time is it? 2.27, okay. I'm gonna go in front of the graveyard and just wait until 5 o'clock so I can just show you guys the effect. I love how you can hear the barking of the wolf before he even appears. Whoops! I was gonna wait right in front, but that's okay, we'll do it this time. If you notice, the constable did not appear on this stage. But he does appear in this one. I don't know why he doesn't have, you know, like, a mallet. Or like a silver stake to, you know, actually kill you. I don't know. Because obviously if he's out here to cause us harm, you know, he might, you know, he's witnessing us trying to kill people. You know, why aren't I being, like, tried for murder? I mean, I'm granted I'm, like, undead or whatever, but all they have to do is just keep me restrained until sunrise, and, yeah, the, the, this, this blood-sucking problem that this town, this neighborhood is having is over! Excuse me. I'd like to murder you, please. Nothing personal, but I just don't want to die. I'm gonna knock on your door. Not on the ceiling, on the door. I'm actually really surprised I'm doing this well at biting people because... Yeah, you saw me. Because usually I stink at this game, and I probably still stink at this game regardless, but... We're just here to have fun and have something with a little Halloween theme and... Just show off some classic games. Now, I never actually played this television game growing up, unlike like Frogbog and Tropical Trouble, which I previously played several years ago, for those of you who may remember. Um, obviously, as you can tell now, now that I've obviously got Windows 7, since then... I got one victim left. Um, I can independently control the volume of the emulator and my uh, microphone. And obviously I have a better recording program that allows me to do that too, so I don't have the problem anymore of um, the emulation being way too loud, which was a problem I had before. But no more! Also, technology advances since then. Alright, I gotta get off him, get him off my butt, because he's gonna keep just shooting me with these things. I don't know why he's wasting them, because I'm obviously not being overly affected by them. Oh, 
Oh, come on! I'm trying to get far enough away from him. <laughs> yeah, see, this is what I'll do. Yeah, 436. Okay, I'm almost there. Just gotta walk in like zigzags to stay away from his stakes until 5 o'clock. There we go. That's basically your warning that you only have a few seconds, you know, not that long to get home. I'm not sure how fast the timer goes in regards to real time. But I mean, if you'd like repeatedly press just a random key on the keypad. Oh, he doesn't come out even if somebody's out. I didn't murder anybody yet. Maybe they're like, oh yeah, that's one suspicious jogger on the street there. But yeah, you can't get away from the constable. Period. He's just worth points if you can zombify somebody. Let's see if I can do it again. Excuse me, I'd like to turn you into an undead. Like myself, only a different kind. Come here, buddy. I think he might die before then. Nope, I got him. Sweet! Yeah, and he's spontaneously gonna, you know, just come back to life. I'm not sure this person, so sure this town is so much a Dracula problem as an undead constable problem. Yeah, you know, keeps resurrecting himself. Maybe Dracula's here to save us against this guy. Maybe if we kill him so many times, he'll never come back. I know that's not really the case because, you know, he'll always keep coming back, but I'm just trying to make a little narrative in here. I mean, obviously Dracula feels comfortable enough to be walking the streets in the middle of the, in the night. Yeah, granted, not many people are out and we have to lure them out of their houses, but even so, you know, he doesn't have to sneak about. He can just walk down the sidewalk like everybody else. Well, if it's Halloween, Dracula, you can get all the feasts you want in because nobody's ever going to suspect you. Ever. One victim left. Oh, you just saw me murder somebody, so... Get your stick away from me. Victims! Where are you? I think the, the eyes in the houses are, like, random. I don't think you can ever, like, run out of victims to bite. I think it's just a matter of running out of time. Actually... The graveyard is this way. That's a really poor and poorly drawn vulture. Now, just don't turn into a... Even if you, you know, turn back into, you know, a vampire to avoid the vulture, just make sure he's off the screen before you turn back, because it can turn around and be like, oh, yeah. All right, now we're up to nine victims. Does it ever go up to ten on easy mode? Yeah, he's not going to come out of the house, because... Mr. Constable here is in the way. I love his little, like, Pac-Man mouth and that he doesn't really have any eyes, but you know what? Look, 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 look at his arms. He's, like, walking with his arms, like, right out in front of him. At least the, uh, you know, like, the joggers and the people outside and the constable, like, walk a little bit more naturally. Like, like Dracula's, like, got like, this, like, rigor mortis going on in his arms. And he's, like, pumping them back and forth. <laughs> But I'm not I'm not here to like just criticize the graphics for a game older than I am, but I think it's funny. I mean I mean at least they gave him hair. He's got some pretty nifty hair there. You know, they gave him like the big count's cape and everything. I don't know why he's got you know, like white on the top of his pants there. Maybe he's just wearing a white undershirt, I don't know. Or maybe he was just drawn more realistic that way, I don't know. Maybe he's barren as midriff. Maybe that's it. Maybe Dracula's got a nice navel piercing that he really just wants to show off. Maybe he's trying to blend in. Although with that cape and that pale skin of his, I don't know how he's doing it, but... Hey. He's walking the streets and not hiding behind people's houses, which I think would be a much better idea, but that's okay. I'm reading way too much into this because I just need some stuff to say. I just want you guys to enjoy this. That's all. And I don't want to make a video for, like, just, like, three minutes. Just showing, like, one stage of the game, because that's not very fun. 
How many do I get left? Just one? Alright. I'm actually surprised that I've made it this far. Because like I said, I kind of stink at this game and I have trouble biting people. Because like I said, you got to bite them on the back of the neck. Not just like their sprite or anything. This is like this one little hitbox. Nom, 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 nom. Will you stop running back and forth? Dude, I'm trying to kill you. You think you'd like run back into your house or like go hide behind Mr. Constable or something, but who knows? Hey, how did you get on the other side of the screen? You're not allowed to screen warp. This is not Link's Awakening. Hello there, Wolfie. Oh yeah, you're just gonna bite me in the leg and just run away. You know, I'll have you know there are rabies laws and leash laws in this neighborhood. Oh yeah, we're running out of time. Wow. What time is it? 5.08. Alright, we'll do one more round just because I'm curious if the... Uh... Get in there! Dracula? There we go. Sometimes you have trouble getting him in. Now obviously you get a bonus for murdering all the victims. Oh, it does increase to 10. Okay. I don't know how high it stays. But why don't we wait until after sunrise and see what happens. I think that's a bit of a, a bit more dramatic death than death by random vulture taking you off the edge of the screen. I don't know the significance of that vulture, but then again, I'm not very up to date on my Dracula lore either, so I don't know if that's supposed to be a significance or if it's just a cop out by the game to, hey, you can't just be flying around like a bat the whole time. That would be too much fun and make the game too easy. I don't know. If anyone has any insight and wants to say something, go right ahead in the comments. I don't care. Any information I'm ignorant of, as long as you're not a douche about it, I am more than happy to read up upon. I like when people inform me of stuff that I don't know about and answer my questions and everything like that. It's fun. Because I don't know everything, and you guys don't know everything, so why don't we share our knowledge together? And that's kind of too philosophical to bring up in, a, you know, like a 30-year-old game, but, you know, whatever. You need something to commentate on this thing, and this is a huge sidewalk. You know, I would find it funny if, like, there was actually cars randomly driving in the street and you couldn't go in the street. Like, this dude is just is. Or if there were, like, there's, like, puddles of water here. It's not raining, even though there's thunder going on in the background. But I think it would be a nice touch to have some, like, sewer grates or something. I mean, I know technological limitations, but it would be funny if it was, like, Paperboy and going too far out into the street and made a car would run you over. That would be pretty funny. Gruesome, but funny. Oh, I'm surprised Mr. Constable didn't shoot me like I just totally walked into that one. Excuse me, Mr. Old Man. Or maybe they had if they had more than one sprite for the um Well more than two, I should say. For the people running about. Like maybe even just different, you know, like choose a random color on them instead. Because I think there's a two color sprite limitation on the Intellivision. I'm not 100% sure about that, but going by my limited memories through my head at the moment, I think that may be the case. I'm not sure I know the significance of the white wolf either. But I do know he only shows up after... You've murdered enough victims. So let's just keep walking around until sunrise. Oh, come on. Let me walk away from my graveyard. Let me I'm trying to commit suicide here. I don't need you slowing me down. I love how he, like, swings his, like, shillelagh back and forth while he's walking. I like that. That is a nice touch. Like I said, I'm not trying to, like, overly criticize the graphics. There we go. And we see the sun come up. And then it goes back to night again. And there's a random person running around. 5,000 points. That's a nice, easy, even number. Even though I didn't plan for that. But, yeah. Um...
a bit tedious and repetitive, but most games at the time were anyway. But still, you know, a fun little game. And it's nice to actually, you know, play as sort of the bad guy for once, you know. But I hope you enjoyed this little gem. I certainly enjoyed playing it and sharing it with you. And I'll see you for the next Intellivision Classic. Farewell, and happy Halloween.